Can anybody hear me out there? Yep. Yes. Good, good. You can see my screen? Yep. All right, yes. perfect, perfect. Welcome welcome to our um, our weekly intro to Novo training. Um, appreciate you joining us today. My name is Chris Merlin. I've um, been the uh, marketing rollout manager for our Novo program um, at Kennemental. And um, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm just going to give you a little five-minute introduction about Novo. Um, it's a little bit bigger program here at Kennemental other than uh, our free PC and tablet application that I'm going to demo for you. Then I'm going to go into a 15-20 um, minute demo on the free Novo PC and tablet application. Hopefully I can help you get started with that, teach you a few tricks, uh, go through a few use cases, uh, uh, some scenarios that we've been able to delight some customers with uh, with, with the tool. And uh, then I'll, I'll open up for questions at the end. So we'll get you out of here in just about a half hour. I hope you enjoy it and, um, and, and learn a little bit with me here today. So again, um, you might uh, may or may not be aware of the the term Novo. Um, for us, Novo is, is kind of a new way of doing of doing things, and it's really a game plan that Ken that Ken and Metal Link put together as a response to the mega trends on the market. You know, the, particularly the talent, the technical talent gap, um, and the and the investment in, in automation and digitization we saw in the machining world. And uh, to be honest with you, we, we felt these effects within our own organization. We certainly saw the, on, on, um, saw them, the needs on our customers to make things a bit easier, but also to leverage the promise of this new digital, um, digital age uh, to, to change the way work gets done. Novo is really a bigger concept than just the free PC and tablet application. I'll explain that to you in a minute. But uh, it's really, uh, for us, it's about leveraging these new digital ways of doing things to, to change the way work gets done. Um, what we saw in our customers and, and internally is over the last 30 years, um, if you've grown up in the industry or if you're new, um, you know, we've gone from basically a manual machine to a tape drive to multi-axis machining, simulation, digitization. It's like everything else in your personal life. Everything's gotten more digital, more high-tech, more fancy, more automated, but it doesn't necessarily make it easier unless you can connect all this stuff together. So we think that you know, the promise of the digital factory is there with all the tools that have been developed. But the next 10 years are really about how do we work as an industry, how do we work together to make these things connect in a smart way um, to, to realize the promise of the digital factory. So Novo is Ken Mel's approach um, to doing things smarter with all these new digital um, uh, interfaces that, that we have uh, going today. Maybe, maybe, just one, maybe just one example here um, of, about what, you know, what the promise is. You, know, you think about just optimi optimizing a, a machining uh, strategy or mo optimizing a, a, a particular feature uh, machining path. And in the past, you might have an application engineer from Kenametal or, or um, you know, your, your, your manufacturing engineer in the shop or, or, or a combination of those two. Maybe it's an operator, a local distributor. And you might, if you're having a productivity issue, you might look at it at, at, on the machine, uh, which particular operation you're doing, what the feature is in the part you're trying to do. And you would you would probably find you could you could optimize and, and increase your productivity there um, by by just touching that little piece of tooling which is about three percent of the cost you can save money in a lot of other areas but it's very manual it's very um, uh, very slow going it's spindle by spindle part by part and then after you get done there's no guarantee that you can actually get it into your process plan right so that you can leverage best practice for the future. The promise of the digital factory is getting this knowledge in a digital, easy-to-use way up front in the process planning area so you can have all that productivity easily going downstream through all of the processes um, from, from art to part, as well as, as well as giving a central uh, database for best practice storing and, um, you know, basically storing it. This is one example of the promise of, of the digital factory, which we think is very exciting. And in order to participate there, you know, Kenamino has to work in a, in, a, in a digital way as well with, with its customers. Uh, here's, a, here's an example um, of what I was talking about, and then I'm going to get into, your, into, your, uh, into the demonstration. But 
on the left, you see a typical day in the life of a process planner, an application engineer, maybe you're a CAD CAM guy. Someone drops this drawing on your desk and says, okay, pick out all the cutting tools, machining strategies, operations, machines to do this, to do this particular tool. Now, if you're just starting from scratch, and uh, maybe even you are a newbie, or, 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 or maybe you're, you're a seasoned guy, you're going to use basically tribal knowledge, uh, what you know, and it's a very manual, intensive, go through catalogs, go through your user your CAM system, what do you know about, maybe you're going to collaborate with some of your colleagues on the floor. In fact, we ask um, a team of four Kennemetal sales guys, and these are guys that are picking cutting tools all day, how long would it take you to just spec out the machining strategies and tools for this part? And they said, you know, the way we do it now, it would take us about uh, two full days, um, you know, for four guys to break this up and, and do it. And we would use basically the cutting tool knowledge we know, not, maybe not necessarily the latest and greatest. We probably wouldn't have had all those models and spare parts, and we certainly wouldn't have had all the data and the models we needed to program this part. With the new Novo PC and tablet application, a four-man team broke this uh, component down in the latest and most productive technology because Novo is fed from the cloud from Kenamel's PLM system. So you're getting, if we add a new productive tap tomorrow, it's, it's in there. Um, you're getting optimized feeds and speeds as recommended, just like a, an application engineer from Kenamel or a technical support guy. It's all built in there. They got all the spare parts for the assemblies, all the models, and all the data. So, so they were able to to be to achieve 75% just in the tool selection and optimization part, as well as getting the data and models to program this part. So we think this is just one small example of what the digital factory promises. Um, you know, it's it's about data, it's about speed, it's about accuracy, it's about doing things in a different way. And um, that's why we chose to launch the free PC and tablet application first. But we, um, but we also have a lot of other things coming. In fact, you might have seen the announcement uh, from, from a spree cam that's come out um, in just the last week. Uh, we have a seamless um, workflow with, with it working with their feature recognition software. So truly getting away from the old, uh, the old download the tool library and then try to match that up with, with the feature I want to make. It's now, hey, ident use these tools as they're intended to. You, you identify the feature you want to make and have it tell you what the machining strategy and what the cutting tool, best cutting tool solution is. Well, we also have some integration with, with tool management systems such as Solar and really meeting the need of the, the end user in the process planning area, which is None of us really want extra stuff to download and learn. We want to leverage the native environments that we're in. So again, we started with the free PC download because obviously we couldn't get to every CAM system um, on the market. Um, and it's also great working with the tablets, a great way to collaborate and, and work in your shop. But really where we're heading with Novo is, is you know, what Bosch calls the Industry 4.0 or General Electric calls the Internet of Things. It's, it's the, process, it's the promise of the integrated digital factor. So again, I, I hope I showed you a little bit of the, just the benefits of just our free PC and tablet application. I've shown you a little bit about what we have in mind um, on how to change the way work gets done. Now I'm going to go into the application itself um, that you can download from kennametal.com forward slash Novo. And Give me a second here. I apologize for the noise in the background. I'm, I'm, I'm in a meeting room which seems to have a, uh, an extremely loud, um, extremely loud air conditioning unit. So the good news is we do need air conditioning here um, today. Uh, the bad news is uh, it seems to be a bit loud and right above my head. So okay, so you can download this again from machine. Um, Kinemetal.com forward slash Novo. It's a, it's a piece of software it's developed by the machining cloud company. Uh, their vision is to be the data exchange um, for the machining industry. So we're a publisher of our data, but in the future they envision it's a true open source. They envision that um, machine tool folks and, and other cutting tool companies will publish their data in here because we know every shop is using a, a variety of machine tools, CAM systems, uh, cutting tool companies. So their vision is, is really to be open source. And in the Novo application, when I, do, when I open it up, it recognizes that it's me, Chris Merlin, because I've created a machining cloud account. So this is just simply 
um, an email and a password. And the only reason to establish, and the reason to establish this is so that they can uniquely identify me, so I can save my jobs or tool lists in a repository. So you can imagine most process planners or most people are working on at least some similar projects in their life, and they're collaborating with people around. So this job some repository makes things very convenient uh, for collaboration and also saving to use as a template for a future job. So I'm going to walk you through a use case um, in the day in the life. And I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, you know, typically a, a process planner is given this this particular part here. And uh, give me a second, maybe I can get this off. No, it's connected to the building. Sorry. Um, so typically a process planner will be giving a part like this, and and you have to put it into his CAM system and figure out all the machining strategies and cutting tools to do this this component. So for the purpose of the demonstration, what they typically do is break it down into a series of features, you know, break the elephant down into manageable bytes. I'm going to focus on the hole on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. So I'm a process planner. i got to program this part. I want to find a solution for this hole. First thing I can do is I can go in and I can save. So first benefit of the job is you can load the attributes in like the material, which will speed your search. So I, I, can, I can load as just steel. I can go into the machine ability groups, which are different from company to company, or I can just go into what I'm really looking for, which is is the spec. So in this case, I'm looking for ASI 1040. It tells me that it's in Kenametals, um, Kenametals P2 machine ability group. And now when I search, it's going to look for all the tools that are best for this this workpiece material. So now I can go into feature. I say, hey, I'm I'm looking to make a I'm do a hole making operation. Oops hit the wrong button there. So I go into search with the, what we call tool advisor. So it says tool advisor is I know what feature I want to make. Help me make it. So in this case, I'm going to click on, on hole making. And I'll go back here and go through the a simple through hole. Now it only requires three pieces of information to give me the most optimal cost effective solution from Kenametal. And it's already preloaded that it's a P2 material. So I just have to answer two more things. I can enter this in inch or metric. I'm going to work in metric. So it's nine millimeters plus three minus zero. And I'm going to tell it's about it's a 50 millimeter depth hole. I've got this out of my out of my um, CAM software. Now the other thing it allows me to do is it allows me to opt to tell it further things about um, the solution to further optimize its selection. So I'm going to tell it about it, the 10 degree angle on, on the face of the piece. And it allows me to select what kind of output I want. So I could just tell it to just output it in metric or inch. Uh, I might just want uh, inch tools. Or I could, I could choose that, hey, I only want solid or indexable solutions. In this case, I'm going to run it wide open. So now when I clicked on continue, this is another area where Novo is really a bit different. It gets into the mind of the process planner. So the process planners usually have a, a machining strategy. That's their job in, in CAD CAM. And uh, they typically work on tribal knowledge experience. So I can pick the strategy I'm most comfortable with as a process planner. Or actually it could teach me about different strategies. If I'm a new guy, I can investigate two or three different strategies, which I typically wouldn't do in today's environment because I don't have the connection between the cutting tools and the cam. So in this case, I'm going to pick the more traditional hole drilling strategy. And now, now Novo goes through 55,000 standard Kenametal tools. This is all fed from the cloud, connected to, to Kenametal's PLM system. So if there's a better solution in the system tomorrow, you're going you're gonna to get this. And it's really one of the benefits of the cloud-driven solution. It's accuracy and having access to the most up-to-date uh, technology. So now it's, not only is it selecting, it doesn't just select a, a tool to make that whole, it's identified a process for making that whole because I have some challenging preconditions. So, you know, Kenametal has rules and tribal knowledge, footnotes in, in catalogs, and nobody could possibly know it all. But Novo has this rules engine built in which says, aha, Chris, you told me you have a, a, a long L to D ratio hole, so it's an 8 times D. Probably a, 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 a replaceable tip drill is going to be more cost effective because when you get into long, big pieces of carbide, uh, they're more cost effective or they're, they're more expensive even though the metal re removal rate is the same. It also, if I don't like the, the, um, 
the uh, replaceable tip, I could, it ranks from one to a hundred, the top hundred solutions from Kenametal. So I could go through and maybe look for a solution that's that's more um, that I'm more comfortable with, like a solid carbide drill. And in the future, we're, we'd like to bring in some inventory availability. So you might want to know which one of these tools you have in your list. So that's that, in your inventory. So that's something we're going to bring in. Um, but it also recognizes that 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 that, ang that uh, when you have an eight eight times D hole, you want to pre-center your drill so you don't get a lot of walking. Uh, you don't break the drill on entry. So it's giving me the pre-center. And it recognized I have a, a greater than five degree angle on the face of that um, workpiece I got to deal with before I put my drill in. So it's giving me an end mill. So it's giving me a tooling sequence, just like a Ken mill um, application engineer or a technical support person would give you, knowing all those little bits of tribal knowledge, knowing all those little little secrets. Now it's given access to you for all three of those, a step, and the most productive tools to do it. And it gives you versatility to, to pick other ones. So in this case, I'm going to take those three tools. I'm going to add it to my job. Now the benefit of the job, remember, is a couple of things. It's collaboration, and it's also saving the solution for, for future use. Um, so now that I've added it to my job, I might send it to typically process planners work in groups. I might send it to Joe and say, hey, Joe, uh, remember that remember that work piece we were talking about over lunch? I found a solution for the hole on the bottom, on the right-hand side of the thing. I send him the job. He's going to get a copy of the job in his job list, and I'll retain a copy of the job in mine. So he can play with it however he wants, but I'll retain it in my, in my tool list. Or he can use it as a template for a simple, similar job. The other thing uh, I could do with this job is I could share the job with my purchasing agent. So I could share it with him and say, hey, uh, hey Joe, I, I need to buy these three tools, operation number, number six. And when I go into the tool list, he can add the whole assembly or just the, car, or just the tool to the cart. And one, I can now if I have a commercial account or if I've sent this to my distributor, he's got a commercial account, he can easily add this to his shopping cart, use his regular Kenamental Connect commercial purchasing, and buy the tools. The, last, the, the other thing I can do is well, now that I have this job saved, I can optimize the job. So let's say, let's say I, was, I, was, uh, I know that I'm, I'm going to make this feature tomorrow. So I know that I'm going to use my um, see my machine with. Um, and now I need to adapt it to my machine. So I, I open up the the end mill, and now it goes into what we call our tool configurator. So this is very um, unique for for Novo. It's all of our tools mapped with fits with and works with conve uh, convention. So you're only going to get items that are both that, that fit together, but also meant to use together. So there are items that fit together like a hydraulic chuck and a weld and shank that aren't necessarily meant to be used together. So it error proofs for you, and it also speeds your selection. So at Kenwell, we have about 1,000 page systems book. There's absolutely, um, unless you're very, very familiar with it, finding it um, could be a challenge. But the way you might think is, okay, I know, I know the machine I want to use has got a CV50 um, uh, holder, I need a CV50 holder. Now I can choose from the, not a thousand page systems book, but six items that work with this particular end mill. I can pick it. Um, I, I might check if it's in stock. You know, so if I don't have this, if it's a new holder I'm going to buy, I can check if it's in stock. Great, it's in Cleveland, so I know I can order it and I'll have it tomorrow. And the real magic for the process player, so now he's, he's found the tools that fit together. He's found that they're available because he might have to he might have to order one of them to use tomorrow. He's got a way to share it with his purchasing agent or his distributor to to order the tools for him. So there's nothing more frustrating than sharing it with the purchasing agent. He comes back six hours later and says, "Hey, it's not available." Now you're frustrated. You got to go through the whole process again. But the most important thing for the process planner, if he's not using the tool tomorrow, is the model. So he's got he knows he knows is it available? Does it work for me? Um, how do I adapt it to my machine? And I've got my model so I can actually simulate or program it. So I can download it as a, as a step file or, or a lightweight file for use in most commercial CAM systems or Paracut. And I can go in and I can see the feeds and speeds. And I can play with it. So you can imagine if you're using a milling cutter, a big milling cutter, you might play with the radial width of cut to see what the effect is on, on the horsepower requirements. So you can, that's dynamic. And, and it saves along with this tool assembly.
So now I've got this information saved in the, with the tool assembly. I can do one other thing here, which is which is really handy. I can I can go back into the job, and I can I can download a report. So think about this as an analog way to share your job with the guys out on the floor. So I'm not going to output the report, but I do have a couple reports that I've generated in the past. Let's see here, pictures. I think I got a report here somewhere. So each report now is, is very handy for using, um, you know, for, for transferring data, for uploading into my ERP and my CAM system. It's got a summary on the front page. So, you know, I, I put a little picture of the part I was doing in there. It's just a JPEG. It's got I can go ahead and, and um, see all of the tool assemblies that I that I've picked out for this, and every single tool has its own individual page, which solves a couple other big pain points for me. One is um, spare parts, in case I've got to reorder them. Those are always a, a big pain to find out which spare parts go with what. Um, it's got the name of the components. It's got the 2D dimensions of, of each tool, and it's got the feeds and speeds information. So I've got a, a very nice uh, Excel way to, to share this process plan with people and collaborate well. It's a nice report, uh, very usable, very, very handy. So uh, so far, what I so far what I, I tried to show you was the use case. I'm a process planner. I've got a program in this part. I'm you know, basically starting a new job. How do I do that? Um, there's there's also some other functionality within within the app. Um, so you know, let's say let's say that you know what you're looking for. You know, I don't need advice. I know how I want to make that whole. Um, I, I know what I'm looking for. Help me find it. So again, this use case is I'm looking for a drill, I'm clicking on hole making, and again, I'm still in that job, so it's told me that um, you know, you're looking for a job for P2. I could remove that filter if I want, but a use case might be, hey, I'm looking for a new 8-millimeter drill. I want to make sure it drills 1040, but I do a lot of stainless steel work as well, so let me add in also stainless steel. Now what's cool about Novo is you can stack the requirements. So now you've just stacked it on top. So out of the 55,000 standard Kenamel tools, I've got only the ones who can make a hole in both stainless and in, in P2 materials. Uh, I'm going to uh, put my cutting diameter in. So I'll put the, I'm going to work in met. I can toggle over to metric here. I'm going to go into cutting diameter um, eight millimeters. We'll go eight and a half because I know I don't want a tap drill. So I'll go eight, eight and a half here. Put in my depth of cut. Go. So I can go in with shorter. So I get. I need to go at least uh, at least to almost three quarters of an inch. So now within three clicks, I've gone from fifty-five thousand tools to the three drills. That I know can drill steel and stainless steel. They're eight and a half millimeter and can go at least uh, 68 uh, millimeters deep. And now I could go in and just, if I don't have this drill in stock and I need it tomorrow, I can check to see if uh, Kenna Metals got them in stock. So I could check on this one. Um, great, Kenna Metals got it in Cleveland. Perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to my job, share the job with my purchasing agent, and uh, tell them, hey, I want to order this this tool. Very very easy. The last way you can use this to search is just a quick search. So this is your typical um, we call Boolean search or wildcard search. Just like um, like Google, you can search on a number of attributes. Uh, you can use wildcard. I'm going to search for um, KSCM cutter. So KSCM star, and now it's going to give me the, the both the the full product modules. And it will also just start to go into the individual items as well. So in this case, I was just looking for KSCM bodies, all the KSCM inch bodies. Now I can go in there and, and look for the three times D round shanks, look down through the catalog, um, looking for you know whatever diameter I am added to my job, and so on and so forth. And you can search by by product name or, or or any attribute around the around the product that's that's included here. So I hope um, I hope I've given you a good um, overview of all the major functionality within it. I've tried to share um, the 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 job functionality, the e-commerce connection, uh, the quick search, the catalog search, 
building your models and assemblies, uh, downloading reports, uh, collaboration. So this tool can really do a lot of great things uh, for your engineering group or for collaborating with in, in your network, in your shop. And um, now I'd just like to thank you for joining me and open it up to any questions on the phone. Any questions? Yeah, Chris, if, um, if you go into the job application, the first one, um, no, you sorry. want to put a drawing? Sorry? Go ahead. Come, come again. I'm sorry. Okay. Keep on going back to the first page. Okay. Now, with, then, you have a PDF drawing you want to put in to do operation by operation, so you can show yep. what operation you're doing and the yep. tooling you're going to need to do that operation. How do you get the PDF drawing into the um, into oh, the okay. note? Yeah, so the, the, it's, not, it's not a live drawing, but there's a load image, right? So I I just loaded a picture of the draw of the of the of the part that I'm doing. You know, our vision is you're going to be doing a lot of the feature recognition in your CAM system. So we want to connect this knowledge. We have connected. If you go to to a Spree's website and look at their cloud enabled CAM, we'll connect this cutting tool knowledge and machining strategy knowledge with, with the CAM. But this is just a um, this is just a picture. So I have a picture saved on my desktop. Um, just load it in there, and um, and that's just sort of a reminder of what's in the what's in the tool. Or what's yeah, in but the doc. <coughs> if I had the picture, could I just download it to a PDF file and then load the PDF file onto that uh, image? On the yeah, notebook? I think you, I think you probably need a uh, a JPEG or a, you know a picture file. Oh, okay. It's just a file format, you know. If you if you've scanned it in or whatever, you just just uh, but but it, it you just scan it in and you have to name it as a picture file if you want to use it as a reference. Yeah. Yep. I haven't tried to put a PDF in. I can. Let me see. I don't know if I have any PDFs on my on my desktop here. We can try. No problem. If I have one. I have an idea, though. It's not. It's just. Got, it's restricted to a picture file. So BMP, JPEG, GIF, PNG. So, uh, you know, the easiest way to do those is to basically uh, use your <laughs> you use your print screen function and save it and just load it in. So that's just kind of a reminder of what it is you're really trying to do. Exactly. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's right. It's just descriptive. So I'm in sales. One of the things I could do is put like the customer's logo in there or something, just to make them feel more at home. Exactly, exactly. It's just a nice little, yeah. It's a visual, right? And if you notice, the benefit, I think, the benefit is when you're maybe not in one single job, but if you're looking through your through your job list, right? It, it's very easy to to have a reminder, right, of what it, what it was. So. I mean, I think that's I think that's more of the benefit there. It's like a thumbnail. Does um, Novo look after the machine restrictions, such as you know maximum RPM, because it'll give you a, a solid carbide drill, and you were talking about nine millimeter, and going through fairly easy cutting steel. So the RPM or the surface feet per minute is going to be high, and probably higher than the machine can do. Yeah. So. So not yet. Our, our vision, why we're working with the machining cloud is you could imagine when you start a new job someday, you could add your material, and then their vision is also have the machine, the virtual machine um, loaded in here in the front. So at this point, you just have to manually check it. The you know when you get into the when you get into the um, into the drill itself uh, and go into the feeds and speeds. That's that's you've you've got to check it there, and and I think the report is handy for that as well. Mm -hmm. So you go into the tool list, you know, you open up the tool you've selected. So the drill, I think I just opened up a blank job. Sorry. You go into the tool list, but that's where the that's you know, so to your point, when you have a when you have a drill in there, when I was in the feeds and speeds, whatever I adjusted. 
whatever I adjusted it to, it's it stayed there. So let's imagine it going in and check the feeds and speeds and whatever. It says, you know, starting at the 150, I don't have that speed. I can move it down and it'll save it with that with that assembly, with that with that, that tool assembly. So you have to manually check it at the moment. However, there is a way to save it um, so you don't have to remember it. Okay. Now, I think I'm kind of asking the same question he is. Is there a way, like most shops deal with like 4140 and their machines have set to certain standards, is there a way to, to, to uh, clone that and bring it to the next one kind of thing? Yeah, that was in the, that was in the job functionality. So let's say you've made a job uh, for one one part in that shop. Now it's very easy just to copy job and start. So that's one of the real benefits of the job is using it as templates. Okay, cool. That, so your that first answer, one you may not save much time. What's that? Yeah, the first one you might not, but but the second one obviously you're going to save a lot. And it's the same with similar parts, right? Today you're making a three inch OD ring, and tomorrow it's three and a quarter. There's not much difference, right? Yeah. Good questions. Thank you very much. What do you guys see? What do you guys? You guys are pretty active. What do you guys see as the limitation, or what's? I mean, other than it not having other people's tools in it, what what's the next thing that that we need to do um, to to help you guys out? Or what's the biggest hiccup you guys run run into with the software? Well, there's nothing wrong with the software. It's just that when you're doing uh, jobs on machine instances, you don't really know where the interferences are coming, either from the from the tool or from the fixture. But you know that can't be done until really you get information about the fixture. Yeah. So that, the machine instance wise, yeah, you may have to change it quite a few times. Well, yeah, I think that's that's kind of the promise. To your point, that's where we're all heading, right? The promise of the digital factory and the simulation is mm -hmm. that you have all this you have all this data coming from the proper source. Um, so the Novo cutting tool data is merging with the fixturing data is merging with the camming data, and that's that's really what the process planner wants, right? He wants to be able to simulate all that very accurately. What we're bringing to the party here, why we chose to go cloud enabled, is in that in that whole process, it's still critical that you know the exact dimension of the tool. I mean, we're 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 a fine finishing business. We're working in microns, so being off a millimeter is is a big deal. So um, uh, you know that's that's our vision. We want to bring accurate, real time data to the process, and we're working with the machining cloud because they want to bring the other stuff in. So I think it, you know, the vision vision is there, and they, they we we agree with you. It's a good point. So, the the promise of the next software, right? Always. Well, a couple other things I'd like to just encourage you guys to do. Um, if you go out to, um, if you go down to um, kennametal dot com, or I'm sorry, to um, to to YouTube, well, maybe it's a spree or DP DP Technologies makes a spree. DP Tech Technology dot com. These are the makers of uh, Spree Cam. Uh, they have a nice um, advertisement here on on their cloud enabled cam, and you will see their vision for how this software is uh, working is working with with their cam software. So they can play a demonstration here. And the other thing I would encourage you guys really this is a great thing. We have started a new Kenametal Novo community. So you can go out here, just search community.kenamel.com. There's a Novo community, and this is like the Apple support community. So you can type in a question, and if someone's already asked it, it's gonna it, it, it kind of build it's a database that builds on itself. So if someone's asked the same question, um, it'll it'll automatically bring up the answers to it. You can also answer questions for people. We also have the frequently asked questions, and this is supported in multiple languages by the machining cloud company, by our CAS team, by the development team. So it's a it's a very, very um, it's a very, very handy thing. It works on a phone to ask a question and you know, instead of making a call, you ask a question and then your answer comes back uh, sometime later in the day. 
So I'd encourage you guys to go to the new community website. Um, it's very, very handy for, for troubleshooting. Um, there's also, um, if you get, ever get stuck in the app, you can put a, put a ticket in, if you will, right here to this website. Send a screenshot. Hey, it's on the bug. If you have an issue, just send it off. It's supported by Machine and Cloud and our development team. So we, we've tried to make a lot of really easy self-serve tools for you as well to, to ask questions. And, um, and uh, we, we want to make your experience great with the product. So any, any, any other questions? Yeah, the, the one thing, the way I'm going to be trying to use it is more in a sales application. So I see just set up a job for the customer, and that way I can send him the tool list and everything else. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Did you, I, did you, did you under, go ahead, did, is there a question about that? No, no, I was just agreeing with that, that that would be an, an awesome thing for me to be able to do. Yeah, so when you share this job with your customer, you share it to them, he has all his models and data, so you you can play with all the feeds and speeds. You can you send it to him. No, he can he can he can do all his uh, models and data, and then he can if he's buying from a distributor, he can share it with his local distributor. They can use Connect to buy it, or he can send it to his purchasing department, and they can also log in via Connect. Very very convenient yeah. for 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 a guy. Because typically the guy picking the tools is not buying the tools, right? Um, absolutely, you're wrong. Um. Oh, I, what I end up okay. Um, what I end up doing a lot of times is going in. and The customer says, "I don't know how to do this. Tell me how." And so I end up having to pick more tools than the guy would think. <laughs> okay. Are you working for a distributor or a can middle for us? I I'm MSC. Oh, you are. Yeah. So so in your case, that's that's right. You're picking and buying for your customer. So absolutely true. In the shop, right? The guy you would be working with. You know, you're you're filling that gap for them, but the typical shop, they might have a the, the engineering department and the purchasing department. So, in either scenario, you can work with both of those guys, or like you said, you can pick them and purchase them for them. So, perfect. Yep. Yep. Great. Great example. In my in my notes, I can put their their account number and their ship to and stuff like that. So that would make it a more uh, um, easier for them to buy from me versus going to another vendor. Correct. Absolutely. I mean, that's what it's about, okay. right? Making things, things easy. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think the, I think for MSC, the Excel output also helps you a bit, huh? Um, haven't really messed with that a whole lot. Just kind of getting involved in this. Okay. Yep. Any other questions? A great, great comments. Thank you so much, and thank you for your support of Canada Health Products. Hey, anyone else? Okay, well, guys, it was a great session today. Lots of great questions. Thank you so much. Um, there is a recording. Um, there is a recording on on our website. Um, if, if you want to watch uh, watch this training over, there's also some help help uh, on the Novo microsite. Some help videos as well. So, thank you guys so much. Have a great Friday, a great weekend, and um, and looking forward to changing the way your work gets done with Novo. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, can I talk to you whenever when you're done? Yeah, sure. Do you have my, my number? Uh, yes, what is it? 724 433. Seven. There we go. We're good. Let me I stop. Think we're there you go. Okay. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I, I'm not sure if there's anybody else on, but do you, do you have a question that's sensitive or? Oh, no, 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 it's not sensitive. I was just going to tell you that um, I was talking to our tech team, telling them about the fact that, that I was getting ready to do this, and they were not aware that eventually your your goal and aspirations were to be able to, uh, you know, so I would look on there and see SECO, and am I correct in saying that? You know, you'd see everybody on there, and yours would be the best solution, hopefully. Oh, well. Wow. Well, let me say this. There's a vision by the machining cloud to be open source because our our customers don't just use Kenna Metal tools. So probably, probably, um, I actually have no vision about how all that's going to work. I know we'll always have a, a Kenna Metal version of the app. But whether the other guys will come in or not, I'm not sure. But that's definitely what the customer wants. So I, I can't tell you yeah, any more okay. than that. It's a long, well, you long may wanna I think you may want to reach out to the um, to our uh, JNL metalworking team, 
and and uh, have a class with them because this would be an awesome tool for them. Because I know even as I call them, I mean they're they're looking in the books and whatnot, and this dials in much much faster. I know they've all taken a brief thing in the class, but I know they're they're not totally script to it. So just a little FYI. Yeah, no problem. That's a great, great tip. Uh, we'll try to get – we had, like you said, we had some brief things with them. I know uh, Todd Grant has worked with them, but the more the merrier on the education. And those guys are really gigged up on it, just like our CAS guys, right? You know, if you're sitting by a desk all day and you got to answer rapid fire, this thing can help you out a lot. So, well, point. yeah, and especially especially as it starts – you know, and I know you'll always have your own, your own version, which is only smart, but the more usable something – People get to use it, the more you'll ultimate control you'll have over it. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you know, my my our thoughts are let's create value for the customer, and you know, you know, the customer. That, that's how you got to operate from in this thing, right? You know, and then you know, yeah. people have been trying for years to control things, and it never never seems to work out. So we're just trying to create no. some value for for the customers, like yep. you guys. So a pretty awesome idea. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, Chris. Yeah, yeah, take care. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.